Hey everybody, welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing a My Tech Bag video. I haven't done one of these in almost two years now. Some things have updated, so I figured I would uh, do another video of this. It's been a minute, so let's start off with just the phone I use every day, which is the iPhone 14 Pro still. Still love this phone, still great. I had a review I posted a couple months ago. My one year, we're going on a year and a half now. Um, I'm still planning on using this for the very extended near future. When I upgrade this, then that, at that point, I'm going to have to upgrade my AirPods and everything, all the USB-C at once. That's what I want to do. But until then, I'm still fine with Lightning, so I'm still going to be using the iPhone 14 Pro. It has still been great for me. Going along with my Lightning accessory things, we have my AirPods Pro 2. These have been great. I love the stem control volumes. It's easily my favorite feature about this, of these new AirPods. I have liked using the Apple Watch charger to charge these. That's been real convenient when I don't have enough chargers or something like that. These have been great. The battery life has been great. I love these. I use these every day. To be honest, the only reason I even upgraded from the first pro is because I lost one of them. And this just happened to be at the same time. So honestly, I probably still would be on Gen 1 if I never lost them. So I know, so even when a Gen 3 comes out, I don't plan my, see myself upgrading quite yet. The thing I wear on my wrist every day is the Apple Watch Series 7. I do have a screen protector on it. The watch has been pretty good. I've had a screen protector on it because I know these, because it's the aluminum model, so I know those get scratched up really easy, but it's a nice blue one, so I honestly, I don't even notice I wear a case on the, the watch, but it's been a great watch. I love it. I use uh, activity rings on it all the time. I do workouts on it. The battery life, it's been getting a little worse lately. Um, it still can last me about 18 hours, but I'll be like awake at six to go to school, but I won't go to bed till like 11 and it's dead usually or 10% by the time I go to bed at 11. The watch, like the battery life, it's at, the health is actually at like 82%. So I'm actually surprised it's doing this well for being at 82%, but I still don't see myself upgrading from this watch anytime in the near future. I might have to charge it a couple times more here and there, but I mean, the newest watches haven't seemed that compelling anyway. So if I had to buy another one, I'd probably be just another Series 7. What I use every day um, for making videos is I use my M1 Pro MacBook Pro. I just got it a couple months ago and I made a video of that right here. I still love this thing. I edit all my videos on it. I still use schoolwork on it, watch YouTube, whatever it is. I love this machine. I'm going to be using it for... <laughs> as long as I can see me using it for it because it's, it's been great for me. I think it's a little overkill for me. Um, I still I still probably, I don't regret buying it and I still don't, I don't think I would have made a different decision if I had to go back in time. Um, but I still think it is a great product and I love my computer. And then other little accessories I have, I do have one AirTag. I keep it on my keys mostly. I mean, I don't lose, lose these too much, but most like 99% of the time when I look for these, it's like they're in my pants pocket and I put it on the laundry on accident or something like that. I actually lost my keys when I went skiing in the snow and this AirTag actually helped me find them one time. That was a crazy story. I honestly thought I'd never find the keys again. So I'm so glad that the AirTag helped me find that. I also do have a HomePod. I haven't really talked about the HomePod too much. I've been like a couple of reviews on it. I, that one's up in my room. Um, I'll play music off of it every once in a while, but I wish it could be a little bit more Bluetooth speaker-like because whenever the Wi-Fi is down, it doesn't work and that's super annoying, but it's whatever. Speaking of other music things, I do have a radio in my car that plays CarPlay, so that's, I mean, not technically like a daily driver thing, but I still find it like CarPlay, you know? I'll use CarPlay all the time. Also, in case you guys care about my daily driver of the car, it's a uh, 2006 Jeep Cherokee. That is my daily driver car. Those are things I uh, normally am daily driving these days. I use them basically every day, at least once, I'm sure I am. I love all of my products in my ecosystem. I have like a million more Apple products that I don't like use every day. Like just look at my desk. Here's a photo of my desk. Like look how messy this is. I have like all my iPhones on there and uh, my old computer that doesn't even work and stuff. More just display and stuff like that. But that's everything I use on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you guys use? Are you guys gonna hate me for something I use? Comment below, whatever it is. Anyway, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and peace out.